Those in Antioch and Brentwood last night led to two grass fires in that area. One of them took more than an hour to get under control. KTVU's Tori Gaines tonight here in studio with more on the story. Tori. That's right. And these fires, fires, excuse me, came as much of the Bay Area as under a red flag warning this weekend, as we learned that just expired. But that made the situation even more challenging for fire crews who responded. Tires screeching, cars crashing, and sparks flying. Sights and sounds some have grown familiar with here in the Bay Area. This was the scene in Antioch just after midnight on Sunday as a group of spectators gathered at the corner of Deer Valley Road and Lone Tree Way. As the drivers cruised in circles at high speeds, spectators also set off fireworks nearby, sparking a brush fire next to the roadway. Video shared with KTVU shows police and fire responding to the sideshow and coming upon flames that appeared to stretch higher than their police cruisers. For me, I feel scared when I saw people like that. And exactly when they are making fire over there, there are houses. Mirta Bejarano is an immigrant from Nicaragua. And in the last 20 years that she's lived in the East Bay, she says she hasn't witnessed a sideshow. No, I never see that. She's been a cashier at the Antioch gas station nearby for about seven months. And this is the first time she's even seen evidence of a sideshow in her area. She worries about the fire sparking so close to the gas station, but she also shared concern about the flames reaching the homes nearby. The Contra Costa County Fire Protection District had a busy night as another sideshow in the nearby town of Brentwood started up around two hours later. That sideshow sparked a four acre brush fire that took more than an hour to contain. These sorts of preventable fires are a huge concern for the Bay Area, especially in light of this week's red flag warning issued by the National Weather Service. It's few Tools like these grasses that can easily ignite with a slight spark and spread rapidly in windy conditions like we're seeing this weekend. It was windy yesterday. Imagine in this one, they cannot control the fire. It's difficult when it's windy. Cal Fire tells KTVU that windy conditions are also some of the most dangerous for firefighters to navigate. I can also tell you that we spoke with, Kate, uh, with Antioch Mayor Lamar Thorpe last week, and he mentioned concern over sideshows making their way into Antioch, especially while the city has limited police officers to respond. Tori Gaines, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tori, thank you.